I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano was just completed. It came in um, a little while ago, and then we, and then we totally refurbished it. Um, we, we redid the outside into this, into this beautiful satin. It looks gorgeous. I would say the, uh, um, that actually turned out amazing. It, it far exceeded my, my expectations. Um, so like the exterior on this piano, I would give probably, I'd probably give it an A, not an A plus, but I would, I would definitely give it an A. It just looks really, really nice, and you have to look for blemishes. So, so frankly, I think uh, unless you were looking, you'd think that, that it was a brand new piano. So, um, 1988, not bad. Um, this is a 48-inch piano, which, uh, which I've long recommended to people as kind of a, kind of a great place to start. For when you're looking for like a real piano. Below that, I mean, the piano's great, and I would actually much prefer a smaller piano to a digital piano. I would take a little tiny spinet over a digital piano, like really sincerely I would. Um, but if you want uh, an upright that really has some, has some good tone, some good punch, ability to project, and really express yourself a little bit better, uh, I've long recommended 48 inches is the minimum minimum size, which is what this one is. Um, okay, so not only did we did we redo the uh, finish, it also has brand new keys. All of these white uh, white keys are all all brand new, and then uh, and then we also refurbished all of the inside. So what that entails, um, it's a it's a pretty extensive process. It's a process that I came up with. Over the years, I've been working on pianos now for 25 years, and I've come up with it over the years, um, and just kind of kept adding and adding and adding things to the checklist until I think I'm happy with it. But I probably said that three or four years ago, um, so I'll probably three or four years from now, I'll probably think of something else to add. But uh, the point is, it's a very exhaustive, all-inclusive list of just going through the piano from from simple. You know, taking a day or two to clean it all the way to reshaping hammers and regulation and alignment, those kinds of more, more technical things, all of which are done. So the goal on this refurbishing process is to, is to make the piano function and endure like a brand new piano. So um, I've, I've, just seen, I've just seen a lot of success um, with that offering to, over the years to, to the piano buyer, piano buying public, I guess, um, of, of, of these pianos that function like they're brand new because, because of this extensive process, but price-wise they're, they're significantly less than, than what a brand new piano would, would be. Um, so all of that has been done on, on this piano. And actually this, this piano fits timeline, timeline-wise pretty, I guess, pretty well. It's maybe a little bit overdue. Being 1988, I guess that makes it a, a little bit over 30-year-old piano. Um, what I what I have, have long advised people is that pianos they last forever. They last for many, many, many decades. But of, of really excellent use, they have about 20 to 25 years after which they need at least some level of refurbishing. Um, they don't necessarily need the extreme, extensive version that, that, that we do here to, to our pianos. But they need they need Know, some um, level of, of refurbishing, and so so this one has had it, has had that done, and and now I I, I would say it looks and, and it functions like like new.
touch. Um, it really feels good under the fingers, and uh, and yeah, it's just a just a really good piano, a good solid piano that uh, that I think will last for um, for another, like I said, several decades, another 25, 30 years, 20, 25, maybe 30 years before before it needs to be refurbished again. So great longevity. I mean, there's really not a downside to this piano. Oh, and I should mention also this one little feature that also has that little middle pedal lock, locking mechanism. So you can play with a baby sleeping or something. It's a pretty, pretty dramatic uh, difference. Usually not as much of a dramatic difference as it is on this one. someone's life here probably very shortly. So come check it out. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.